Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet brought us a pretty good story that seems to continue into the DLC, as the Teal Mask did a good job as well. There we learned about many things regarding the lore of that unknown yet familiar region, but there's a mystery that will move on into the Indigo Disc that we need to talk about. So hey, I'm not so a strainer, still with a broken leg, and what about death? Let's get into it. There's a theme in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet that seems to revolve around death. The concept of the loss of a parent is explored with the Arvan storyline, which is a reference to the real-life loss suffered by Shigeru Omori when he was younger. Then, as we go into Area Zero, and as Nightshades pointed out in my Discord server, Penny jokes by saying I think I died once or twice, and Arvan says, makes you feel like maybe you already died and went somewhere. Even in the Scarlet and Violet books, someone got mortally wounded. Then, in Kitakami, we have the Crystal Pool, where you're sad to be able to meet people who have passed away but I don't think that is exactly what's going on. We don't have a lot of interactions with this new location, as we really only have to go there with Carmine in order to get the Crystal Cluster to repair the mask, but we know that that is a sacred place. Still, there's another person that we meet there, Mrs. Briar, which has already been confirmed to be Heath's descendant. She has one goal, to find Terrapagos and with that prove that Heath wasn't making things up when he wrote the Scarlet and Violet books. Her studies of Terra Energy make it so she understands how it works better than likely anyone, maybe even the professors, and when she went to that pool to learn a bit more, she might have received a lot more information than she expected. We've talked about dreams and wishes a lot when it comes to Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet, and I believe that we need to once again talk about them, I'm sorry, but it is what it is. Briar, when she went to the Crystal Pool, experienced something. We didn't see it, but I'm pretty sure she did. In the end, she tells us that there were some new developments concerning the Great Crater, sure, but I'm not sure it is something regarding her being allowed in there, just a breakthrough regarding her goals. I believe that the power of the Terra Crystals, the power of Terrapagos, is related to dreams, as in Terrapagos has a way of connecting all of those dreams, the dreams that were, that are and that will be, to the point where it connects different times as well. So, you can meet people who have passed away in the Crystal Pool, but you meet them while they were alive. You meet them in what is Terrapagos' Dragon Palace, a place that likely is similar to a dream world. Maybe not THE dream world from Gen 5, but a dream world. And I think that in that place, you interact with people from different times as time just flows differently there. And Briar did exactly that with Heath. It is not my first time talking about this, as I made a video about Briar before the release of the game and I kinda understood her intentions, I kinda got something right, go figure. But I believe that the writings on the ground, the metal plate and more specifically the phantom memory all come from her, indirectly, but from her. Through dreams, she influenced many people to leave hints for Heath to understand. And I think that she might have given Heath the phantom memory directly when we left her alone in the crystal pool. It's very likely that she shared information with him and he simply took notes. That's why the page is in his handwriting and that he shared information with her as well, fueling her search for Terrapagos even more. What I think is the issue is that, like I mentioned in that video, a time loop is created. Despite all of her attempts, Heath cannot understand what the page says and so is never able to explain his book to anyone, and so, when she is born and then grows up, she becomes once again obsessed with that and begins her search for Terrapagos once more and eventually ends up giving Heath the phantom memory again. But the most interesting part of it all is, and for it we would need the return of our good old friends from Paldea, will Arvin finally be able to meet his parents or a version of them before something happened to them? Considering Briar's jacket, it means she knows about both realities, so can we finally understand what is going on and why there are two Paldeas that are so similar yet so different at the same time? And that is all I have for you today, the power of the Terra Crystals is the power to connect everyone through dreams, you're talking to those who passed before that actually happened. But what about you, do you think Briar will end up as a villain? Let me know in the comments down below. And now, like the video if you like it, dislike if you don't, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more Pokemon content and also ring the bell so you know when the next video is out. You can follow me on social media and Twitch, I stream there Wednesday to Sunday, not Saturday, or join our Discord, all the links are in the description. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all on the next one.